What's up, VFAM? Your boy Juan Valdez back with a brand new video, and today I wanted to show with you guys an easy way that you can either start your own online business or just start making money in general. It could be either online or offline. Uh, some of you guys that watch my previous video know that my business partner Samir and I have been really focused. I kind of share with you guys how we've been you know, really trying to test a lot more products with different testing strategies, right? With the offers and things like that. As we were actually doing product research last night, something really just clicked for me, right? Something that really uh, stood out and it came from literally doing product research, right? It's crazy where it came from. It was a great idea. So I thought, why not take the time to kind of share with you guys now, before I get started, if you guys have any other ideas, strategies, or any other useful information that you think could be useful to someone else, about how you can easily start your own online business or start making money either online or offline or in person you know make sure you drop it in the comments below i want to see what other ideas you guys have in place and the reason why i want you guys to do that is because i know for a fact that obviously i get a lot of you guys that come and see my videos but there's usually other people in the community in the vfam that you know want to learn other things from other people right and i know a lot of you guys that are watching you may also have a good strategy to you know start your own online business even though you may not think of it as, as like this you know excellent or millionaire strategy it may be something that somebody can use uh, or really learn from so if you guys could be kind of to share that would be incredible and of course if you guys have any questions also drop them in the comments below i'll get back to you guys and if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM, smash that subscribe button, and we'll get right into it. So, last night, as I was doing product research, I was thinking to myself, what did the previous products that did really well for us have, and what did all those products actually have in common, right? What did, why did it do so well, and what are some of the traits that kind of went into the products? And I know there are a couple things that went into it, and I don't want to make this just about the product research process or, you know, what we use to find products. I want to just use an example. But I'll, when I looked at all the different products that had done really well for, you know, my e-commerce business, there are all products that solved problems, right? And that's actually going to be the talk about this video. We're really looking to see how you can solve problems. Now, these products, the reason why they did super well is because they really solved the problem, right? One of the biggest problems that they solved is we all have insecurities, right? No question about it. Everybody has their own unique insecurities. The specific product that we sold helped out with the specific insecurity problem that a lot of people had. And that's actually why it did really well. Now, when some of you guys heard about my story, how my business partner Samir and I went from literally zero to cranking out over 224K a month, a majority of the revenue that we produced and generated was with one product and it was that same exact product. So Thinking back to that product, because now we've been able to find, you know, products like that over and over again. And obviously we want to continue doing it. For any of you guys watching that and maybe you haven't started your own online business or you haven't started any business or you simply want to learn how to start making money. One of the easiest ways you can either, again, start your own business or start making money is by looking to see how you can solve problems, right? Now there's problems in almost any industry, different categories, whatever the case may be, right? There's tons of problems all over the place. You find a specific problem and you get really good at the skill needed to solve that problem, you will be able to either start a business around that specific problem you're solving or easily start making money from it, right? Obviously, if you start making money from something, you might wanna turn it into a business, then you can actually start making more money from it. But if you wanna make just some quick revenue, uh, or you actually want to build a business that's one of the easiest ways to look for problems that you can solve right and i kind of went through and i thought about different categories where you guys can potentially you know go through and see if you can solve problems for these specific categories right because these are categories that i'm i'm familiar with and i know that people are solving the problems within it and that's how they're making money within these different industries so one of the first things you guys can do is you guys can find either people or businesses that simply don't know too much about social media, right? People that don't know how to run their Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter, all their social media accounts, and help them solve that problem, right? Let them know that, obviously, at first, you, if you don't know how to do it, then you know it's a little bit different. You can start learning how to do it, but that's already one opportunity that you can utilize, either start a business or, again, start making money from, because if you can learn the skills that it takes to, you know, master social media marketing now you have these skill sets that you can then use either for personal brands people that want to really get 
obviously you build their personal brands, which there's a ton of people because now people are starting to realize how important personal brands are, or you can do it for actual business, right? Because there's tons of businesses that don't really utilize social media at all, right? So that's an opportunity within itself. That's just simply one opportunity. So usually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of co cover a few different opportunities, but usually with those opportunities, if you guys don't know or have the skill sets needed to solve that problem, super simple, you can go out there and learn it. You know, obviously like you're not just gonna go up to someone and tell them you can do something and then, you know, pr promise them, but then not deliver. You wanna make sure you can over promise and over deliver. That's something I picked up from Uncle G, Grant Cardone. You always wanna make sure you do that. But of course, if you don't have the skill sets, then obviously you can't do it. That's just one opportunity, right? Easy. Another opportunity is there are businesses that are out there right now that are selling tons of products through their retail locations, right? I actually did this myself, me and my business partner, Samir, we actually went to an event and we had met with these business owners that were selling products already through their retail locations and they had a website put together, but it was not, like nothing crazy, right? They li literally their websites literally sucked. Terrible websites, didn't have any pictures, it wasn't organized, didn't look good, anything. I'm talking about like if you guys saw this, it, you you would have immediately seen the opportunity or at least some of you guys that know about websites would have immediately saw that, you know, this is something you can help out with. For us, like the opportunity li literally came to mind right away. Like we started talking to them, they showed us their businesses and they told us how much revenue they were producing without having a website or any social media presence overall. And we decided, okay, cool. So if you guys are already generating revenue and you don't have a good website and you don't have any social media presence at all and you're not running any ads, and obviously for our e-commerce and dropshipping business, we obviously focus on you know making websites, optimize them so they actually convert. Uh, we take advantage of social media marketing and we run ads. Well, if we know these three things, we can solve a problem that they have, right? A few months back, we took on some clients to work with. Uh, one of them had ran like a painting company uh, selling paint literally within retail locations. And another one was a doctor selling products. She was uh, selling some online, but not as much. And especially not after we, we work with them. So that was an opportunity we saw. So what did we do right away? Started working with them, talked to them. And literally we had them as uh, clients that we were consulting for a few months. Um, later on, it started taking up a lot of more time that we thought it would require uh, because we were obviously focused on our e-commerce business and we really, we really wanted to expand. But for anyone that's looking to start a brand new business or really start making money, like if you put your full time into it and you can do the same thing we just did, you know, that's literally an opportunity you guys can take advantage of because trust me, there are tons of businesses even still that are crushing it through the retail locations but haven't touched the online uh, market because they don't know how to, right? They don't know about social media marketing. They don't know about, you know, running ads, things like that. And those are skill sets that if you guys learn, you guys can take advantage of. You guys, my audience that obviously watch my videos, a lot of you guys, you know, are at the stage where you're like, you're willing to learn and you want to pick up new skills and you're willing and you will learn things along the way. And for you guys that take the time to learn it, you can do things like that. Usually these business owners are already caught up in their businesses, so they're not gonna take the time to learn these brand new skill sets. They'd rather just, they much rather have an expert come in you know, pay them a percentage, get them more sales, and obviously make it work, right? Because who wouldn't want to pay someone to bring them in more sales, you know? So that was just another example. Now, within e-commerce and dropshipping, because I know a lot of you guys watching want to know, like, how can I connect this to my e-commerce business? If you can find products that solve problems for people, you can crush it. And literally, it's like a cheat code to finding hot products because usually the products that have done really well over time, if you think about it, are, pro are products that have solved some kind of problem, right? So if you think about, think back to the fidget spinner, which obviously you guys know was like a boom. Fidget spinners solved the problem. People not being able to stand still, wanting some kind of um, entertainment, right? It solved that problem when people are sitting down. Now they can play with this fidget spinner rather than just sitting there doing nothing, right? So it solved the problem. If we think back to the time when like those black masks were super popular, some of you guys may have seen it, maybe not. It was either the charcoal mask or the charcoal toothpaste. Both of those are solving problems. The charcoal mask clears up your face and makes you look better. Uh, the charcoal toothpaste clears up your teeth, make your, makes your teeth whiter. Uh, I'm actually trying to get my teeth brighter. I've been working on it, I've been brushing three times a day, actually twice, sometimes I hit three. If you think about those products, they did really well. And I know people that sold all of them, right? Now that I'm doing product research, I'm thinking about products a lot differently than I was before because before I'm literally just thinking about, you know, what are people gonna like? What are they gonna buy right away? And, you know, where can I make the fastest, quickest profit? I mean, obviously we all wanna make money quick, 
But now when I'm doing product research, I'm thinking of it, I'm thinking about it a whole lot different and you guys should do the exact same thing. Last night when we were doing product research, the list of products that we're planning on testing out are literally all uh, products that we're gonna test out to solve specific problems. And we know for a fact that they do because we did the research on it. Now obviously you're gonna have products that sell really well that you know, maybe they don't solve a problem, but they just sell well because people want to buy it. Regard, you're gonna have those. Those are good to obviously have and, and test. But I guarantee you, you would have, a, you will have a lot more success with products that solve problems. If you think about what the world's greatest entrepreneurs, the really, the reason why they've been so successful is because they've solved huge problems. You know, off the top. So for those of you guys that are just getting started, or if you're looking to scale up. Or if you're looking to start another uh, business to actually open up another stream of income, look for another problem to solve. I hope you guys got value from this video. Of course, if you did, make sure you drop a like on this video. Let me know what other opportunities you guys think could help anyone else within the community start their own online business or start making money as well. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.